Hello my dear viewers, welcome to this reading. This is a reading for all Scorpios and it's for February 20 and a little bit over 2024. It's all about your money, Scorpio, all about your finance, your work, your career and everything that's happening in that regard of what you need to know for February and a little bit over. Let's have a look starting with the most important messages. The first message, welcome my dear viewers, welcome, I, I wish you a lot of best wishes in everything you do and a lot of my all my blessings to all of you i hope you have a wonderful happy new year and let us begin the most important factor for all scorpios seem to be beauty so something wonderful is happening beauty is good news it's all about happiness it's about doing something wonderful it is about transformations that are going to take place for the better some of you could be getting into this freedom here also and doing things the way you like decorating the way you like um, enhancing your environment the way you like some of you could be doing um, careers thinking about careers and beauty or beautifying something around you in your office or something so beauty is all about positive energy all around you let's see one more message for all scorpios money career february and we have inner child. It shows that there is, um, your guardian angels are showing that it's time for you to heal your inner child, to put that into, put your thoughts and your um, energy into healing within you. What is um, not happy within you needs healing. So that's that one too. Healing is coming to your inner child. And now let's clarify, let's see everything else that you need to know. We're starting with four major impacts for all Scorpio of February. Okay, here we go. Okay, so the first one, the Ten of Wands. It seems like there is an area of your life that's overwhelming you. It might be a little bit too much. It might be that it's suffocating you. It's just maybe being done excessively. So I feel like this could be coming to an end. The Ten of Wands is about an ending, uh, a chapter that was um, quite taking a lot out of your energy. Um, it looks like you are going to be rewarded with a lot of abundance, a lot of nurturing power, loving power from the heavens, taking care of you and bringing abundance in your life in different areas of your life. So that's great news. Um, sleepless nights, not sleeping well, maybe the truth that's affecting you, anxiety, all that sort of slowly will come to an end because this is also the nine of swords, which shows there is that chapter that's coming to an end. Um, and we've got the page of swords here. Someone that might be air energy, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, perhaps, or might have air energy in them. This person could be directing you the truth. This could be someone that you might be concerned about. I'm going to clarify this card to know exactly who this person is. And you are going to be empowered with the magician. I'll take the magician now. This is what you don't see coming. You will be empowered and have the energies and the power of the magician to be able to do things the way you want in due time perhaps end of february onwards let's take three more important messages to see what else the universe your guardian angels want to emphasize on or tell us important factors mighty scorpio truth and we have the king of wands it's amazing with the king of wands this card is amazing why i'm amazed at it because when i was shuffling two times it fell and it came again, the King of Wands. Hmm. This tells me that you could be dealing with someone that is quite powerful, someone that might be uh, a little bit, I could say, just a little bit pushy and trying to get things happening. Um, it makes me wonder. Hmm. The King of Wands. I'm going to leave this for now, and I'll continue it in a moment, because once I clarify, I want to clarify it and understand it more. This is someone that is very relentless and they get things moving. But I just wonder uh, about something, which I'll tell you in a moment. Okay, the Ace of Pentacles, a new beginning that brings you the beginning of prosperity, a lot of happiness coming. And the last one, we have the Three of Cups, celebrations, celebrations. Big celebrations, the Three of Cups. Okay, so that's all good. Um, and ultimately, what you do, what you don't see, uh, what you don't see happening here, there's a great happiness for you. And the star, your wish, one of your greatest wishes, or the oldest, is going to be granted. And you've got a lot of happiness getting your dream life together. So that's with the empowerment of the magician. Isn't that incredible? That is absolutely amazing. You're getting exactly what you want. The magician, and we have the um the empress which shows that truly power and abundance is coming 
to you big time with your wishes being granted, all your dreams and the oldest wish being granted. That is spectacular. Okay, so let's move forward with this is what you don't see coming. We'll put these over here like that and this one goes right there. The king of wands, I'll put it up there. Okay, I'll just find out a little bit more and then I'll clarify everything. Two more messages for all Scorpio, Money, World, Korea. February. Oh, too many cards fell. We just need two. Three cards fell. Okay, three I can take. All right, so it's, it shows to me um, being many of you wanting to spend time at home. Maybe you are going to go through some healing and transformations that you want to work from home, work for yourself, or spend more time at home. So that's that one. You are going to be shining, and I feel like you you are going to be What's the word like recognize for your hard work? I feel like shining is when you are recognized and when, when you're getting a lot of clientele and you're feeling happy and you're shining and you're able to thrive. That's why I'm seeing you celebrating with the three of cups. But attention to small things is very important. Pay attention to small things. That's the message there. And then I'll take three out of this deck. Three messages for Scorpio February. We've got the first one. We've got treasure and frame. And one more. And the other one is the gears. Okay. So the first one, treasure, is beautiful. Treasure is all about worry-free finances. It's about money in reserve. And it's about extraordinary hidden matters coming to light that will bring you uh, money. But money, finances that are uh, worry-free, which is really good. So this is really great news. It's about careers, um, executive careers, sales, planning, hidden talent being discovered, but mostly having a lot of money in reserve. So you are able to save or you're able to get money without worry. So that's very important. And it sits right under the abundance, which is amazing. Then we've got the frame, which is all about steady income, but organizing accomplishments. This is about what I was saying and your business thriving. And... um it looks to me like uh, it looks to me like self-employment. That's what I was trying to say. Some of you are considering working from home with the one bad spirit. It looks like to me uh, some of you are maybe thinking home, home-oriented work, or even home-oriented work with the one bad home-oriented work. Thinking about doing, you know, like interior decorating or arts and design. Anything to do with um, homework, like working from home or self-employed kind of possibility here. Very strong possibility. So that's that one. And then the gears, it's putting plans into motion. That shows to me that you could have had plans and you were working on it and you've been overtired. So maybe you are considering to do less and work from home. I feel like you'll thrive, you will shine and your plans being put into motion. You'll see them build. I'm seeing you building and you are... Uh, you're having also security you're looking to the security matters work that requires security uh, there's something about security or around your home security or working in business that is to do with security uh, taking time off some of you while you're in the process of building your business but putting certainly putting plans into motion now i'm going to go through clarifying everything that you need to know starting with the most important one here which is the king of wands i want to see the king of wands okay so this is really good the king of wands okay the fool has just turned over and abundance very interesting for this i feel like you are you may be releasing someone maybe that was overwhelming you you're released being released from a situation that was a little bit um too much because uh, with the empress uh, being the nurturing power that gives you abundance you are being released from something that was overwhelming you but the king we're talking about the king of um the king of wands uh, someone maybe that was a bit what's the word i'm trying to come up with um, you're being freed from someone that was sort of maybe too set in their ways or rigid you're freeing yourself from that or something might have happened that you might have um re you're releasing yourself from this uh, situation it was just a bit too much and i feel like you are supported big time um i'll just see you at one more oh the magician 
just came without me even you will be empowered so you got the magician and you've got this power this is unbelievable power uh, that you are being released and you've got the empress twice this is incredible absolutely incredible and i feel like with all this you've got the treasure so something of treasure is going to happen it's going to give you the power to move forward, to be able to do things that you were not able to do. And you are going to be so empowered. Both are power and like magic things falling into place for you and abundance and nurturing power. Uh, there is going to be a treasure. There's something major in your life. You are going to be set free from something that was very complicated, something that was overwhelming you is coming to an absolute ending. So that is amazing to know, to see this. So um, release and the magician so you are going to be empowered and you are going to overcome this situation maybe you were feeling um tied down to this uh, person because with the full in reverse it shows that you don't have the freedom yet but soon you will have the freedom the full in reverse shows that you don't have the freedom yet but very soon you are going to be freeing yourself from someone that might have been a bit of a tyrant or expecting too much or you were doing too much that is coming to an absolute ending let's have a look at the ten of wands and the situation that's ending for all scorpio and we've got partnerships so we got the lovers decisions uh a maid in regard to partnerships there is a possibility that you might go into business the three of pentacles is a very profitable business working team together in a team and making a lot of money so there are partnerships uh, that could be coming into your life and you might be working for your uh, for yourself that's why you're leaving this complicated and overwhelming situation many of you have been questioning whether you should or not i think you've got the green uh, light to go ahead and be able to move forward once this automatically uh, comes to an end uh, let's have a look at the and and of course you've got the ending here as you can see and then you've got the ace of pentacles the beginning of prosperity and i believe this uh, beginning of prosperity is um the empress twice right and the treasure and then of course you've got the new beginning so what tells me is that there is some sort of treasure some easy worry-free finance that's coming and releasing you from this extraordinary hardship that you're in something that you're doing too much something that's draining you you're suffocating this is coming to an end and it could be connected to someone of fire energy Sagittarius Aries Leo or someone that might have fire in them very demanding and very um very controlling in some ways but and taking your freedom keeping you very busy and working you very hard so i feel like that is coming to an end and you might be moving into a new partnership that might be very glorious for you so let's have a look at um let's have a look at the the new the beginning of prosperity the ace of pentacles for all scorpio and it looks like you are going to be living a life of luxury and your wish one of your wishes is going to be granted to live the life of luxury and having abundance and not needing maybe to work a life of leisure a life of abundance it's coming and i feel this is what's going to be the treasure that's coming in your life to give you this the wishes this is your wish card by the way so you know uh, this is your wish but one of your oldest wish being granted and you living a life of luxury so i truly feel like something big is happening in your life to give you the ability to have major finance, worry-free finances and not have to deal with so much. And you are being relieved from this completely, from this suffocation. You are going to live a life of absolute luxury and have so much time on your hand to do what you love doing. This is absolutely incredible. I love that. So that's the new beginning. We were asking about the new beginning, and that's what it's showing me. It's showing me your wish is going, one of your wishes, the oldest one that you've had, is going to be releasing you, and you are going to have the life of abundance. That's beautiful. That was all in regard to, so wishes, right? In regard to the Ace of. We we're talking about the Ace of Pentacles. And we've got your wish, and we've got a life of luxury so this could be connected to someone of air energy or someone of air energy might be supporting this supporting you to get to this air energy being libra aquarius gemini there is a possibility that you might be considering 
uh, moving to a better place. That is also coming at a time when you are here doing this, uh, living that life of luxury. Now let's have a look at the uh, the Empress and this power. What will this um, power energy give you at a time when you are feeling unhappy, dissatisfied? What will the Empress do? I want to know about the Empress for all Scorpio. Yes, it's, it's great news coming. Amazing truth and news are going to release you from being trapped, restricted, not happy. Something big is happening, and this is giving you the green light to be free. This is this could be the finance free money that's coming, and you are freed. Whatever it is, it's releasing you from being unhappy, releasing you completely from something that was draining you just a little bit of time, and you are going to see the expansion, the rewards, and the absolute release. Fantastic. Now let's move on and see what the Nine of Swords is all about. What is the Nine of And that's why you're celebrating. You see, this release and living this life is giving you the celebration that you truly need. That's why you've got the Ten of Cups after this. So you've got the Three of Cups celebrating, and then you've got the Ten of Cups. And living the life of luxury, living the life of abundance. That is truly incredible. With one of your wishes being granted. Okay, your wish card twice. Wish card two times and celebrations and the ten, of, ten of Cups wishes come true. That's why you're shining. That's why you're able, you've got the peacock spirit showing that you are shining and you've reached a level, you're reaching to levels beyond um, hard work. You're just living a life of leisure and happiness. I feel like this is going to be given to you as a greatest gift. Now, let's go to the Nine of Swords and see what the Nine of Swords is all about for all Scorpio. Well, too many things, but let's have a look. Oh, yeah, too many cards, but they're all connected because we've got the Ten of Swords come up. So it looks like to me that you are going to be able to take action and move that where you were not able to take action, now you can. Um, you are putting an end to this chapter of your life. It's ending. You are The reason you're able to put an end to it because abundance is coming. You are overwhelmed with a lot of money. And I feel like the treasure has a lot to do with it. this um, uh, worry-free finances money gets coming like a treasure given to you as a gift. This could be the reason that you're able to take action and leave. Leave something that was suffocating you. And I feel like... You're moving forward. There is someone that is going to be very uplifting, very supportive. This person could also be someone that you might be working um, in team together and, and, and creating something glorious. Um, this person is of Earth Energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, uh, is going to be very, very someone reliable, and you are going to work well together. So that's that one. And now I move on to the next level, which is the Page of Swords. Let's have a look at the Page of Swords and see what is this. This Page of Swords showed itself again before. So let's see who this person is and what's this energy all about for all Scorpio. And it looks to me like you are going to be abundantly blessed. A lot of blessings are coming in, a lot of achievements. And I feel like, my dear Scorpio, you are going to emotionally be very happy and relieved. And I feel also that someone is going to be very supportive and helping you move forward, someone of water energy. And there's that fire energy again. Wow. I feel like this fire energy could be connected to someone of air energy, or this could be um, two people, one of air, which is Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, and Aries, um, Leo, Sagittarius. And I also feel like uh, maybe uh, this is a situation where you're getting freed from uh, someone, you know, that was uh, maybe uh, you are being supported to free yourself from someone that was maybe uh, not quite happy or being directed to the truth. That's what this is like, directing you to the truth. And I also feel like there could be a connection where someone where there's air and fire uniting, uh, maybe working in team with them in, in your own business, because there is this situation about own business. There's a situation about um, the three of pentacles working together on something glorious and ultimately all the blessings coming in. Someone very caring, considerate like yourself, achieving their goals. But ultimately, a lot of blessings are coming. So there's wealth, blessings all coming in to give you the extraordinary happiness that you deserve with treasure there. So you'll have a look at that treasure, wealth, abundance, blessings. See, hands in the air. And gratitude, a lot of blessings are pouring into your life. Absolutely. So now we move on to, um, oh, that was the end of it. No, there was one more. Oh, yes. I wanted to know 
um, about the Three of Cups. That's what I was after. What we were celebrating, I wanted to know. Here it is. Because the Three of Cups was here. Let's have a look at the celebrations. Oh, the way the cards are coming out. It's unbelievable. And they're all connected, so I can't not not connect them okay so a period of feeling abandoned or loss of money is coming to an end that's one thing that you're celebrating uh sleepless nights anxiety worry you're letting that go i told you that was the end of it the nine of swords so you're celebrating the end of that and guess what all this is happening because you're destined for the greatest gift from the heavens that will give you happiness all over the place in every area of your life and wealth so there is money the gift of money is coming to change your life completely and utterly, the gift of money. Now, some of this gift of money could be um, this could be inheritance, possibly. It could be part of the wishes, what you always wished for. Um, this could be unexpected money. Of course, it is unexpected money out of nowhere coming. It could be part of your wish. You had a wish. Maybe the longest wish you've had that you wanted wealth. Well, this is coming because this is about wealth. You're destined to have a life of glorious outcome with all your wishes and dreams with the Ten of Cups, buying your own home. A lot of blessings are pouring in to release you. Maybe that's why you are celebrating getting exactly what you want. But ultimately what I'm seeing from all this reading, quite honestly, I'm seeing that a lot of money is coming in and releasing you from something that was giving you a lot of anguish because we have the nine of swords twice, right? And we had the ten of wands twice. I could have sworn it was twice. Yes, it was twice. There it is. So you got the Ten of Wands also twice suffocation, something coming to an ending and suffocating you. So that's what it shows to me, that the end of all this and being granted a lot of happiness, a life of luxury, perhaps even you know getting your own business where you are free and you can work when you feel like it. You might have someone um, there supporting you. You might have a manager, teamwork. But ultimately, there is celebration and there is a lot of money. A lot of money coming in. And that is also to do with the treasure that I was talking about. Worry-free money coming. A lot of money giving you the pleasure of being free and living a life of luxury and not needing for so much. Where you were not able to do that with the power of the magician that came in your reading twice, the magician shows that you are going to be empowered. And at the beginning, we had the queen of... Uh, not to the queen, the empress showing abundance is coming, uh, treasure is coming, one of your wishes is being granted. And the most important one that I want to talk about before I forget, the king of wands. I will talk about the king of wands for one more moment because the king of wands and the treasure. So you've got the treasure, right? And you've got your wish being granted. And you've got the Empress twice and the power of the Magician twice. So this is like major. This is so big. This is just incredible. And what I'd like to say in regard to the King of Wands, twice this person came here, there could be someone of fire energy, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo, um, being the cause of, maybe, the cause of this abundance coming your way. I just feel that, that that could be a possibility. Fire energy. Sagittarius, Aries, Leo. Okay. And that is the end of your reading. Remember, happiness is coming and your wishes granted is also coming. A little bit of patience and there's great news to release you from everything. And completely freeing you from this anguish and being overwhelmed. I hope you enjoyed this reading. My dear Scorpio, do give me a thumbs up. Let me know what you think. Um, subscribe to the channel and support me if you haven't. And also remember to watch the videos till the end in support of me. I really appreciate that. Do let me know in your comments what you feel about this and what's happening and who the fire energy is in your life. Sagittarius, Aries, Leo, either one. This might have not happened yet because they're saying be a little patient. Everything's changing. Stability, security, a lot of money is coming and a lot of abundance with um, the Empress twice in your reading. I wish you a lot of love and light and namaste.